With it being October, this is the time of year that I really like to get into games that are survival horror based. Some of the classic horror games that came out on Xbox era are some of my favorites that were ever made. But the problem is, if you start to look at the Xbox backwards compatibility list, classics like Silent Hill 4 and Fatal Frame 2 and some of the big ones that I love to go back and revisit are not available on the Xbox One or the Xbox Series platform of consoles. In other words, the only way for me to play them is to use my old Xbox 360, which is kind of a pain, having to pull that out every year just to play those particular games. And one of the things that I'm kind of noticing too is, if you watched my last couple videos, Microsoft is trying to make a strong pivot towards a digital-only future, and I'm definitely a guy who's rebought some of these classic games, older games, on my Xbox when they are available digitally. And really what I want to talk about is the downside to this approach, especially when there's so many titles, so many great games that are being left behind due to this movement into a digital-only future. And what I mean is we're not seeing some of the classics getting pushed over, and in this video... What I want to go over is why I think Microsoft should be revisiting their backwards compatibility games and kind of pivoting with that in the future as they try to force a more digital-only approach to gaming. Let's take a look. Perfect. The backwards compatibility program started back in the Xbox One days and you saw a pretty steady movement of a lot of these classic games being ported over to the Xbox One and by the time the series console came out that was when it really started to feel quite exciting because we started to see a massive influx of 360 and original Xbox games start to pop up on the Xbox platform and as of November 15, 2021, however, I believe that that's been pretty much dead. We haven't seen any movement, and as I understand, when people have questioned or asked about it, Microsoft has been pretty much implying that this whole entire program is just done. Now, I know there's a couple logistical issues with this. I understand that certain games and certain licenses are a little harder to move over into the future, but... There's still a lot of games that, in my opinion, I don't see why we could not see those get pushed into the modern era. And what I mean is, you got a lot of classic survival horror games, which is kind of my main motivation or interest in the backwards compatibility program. But you got some classics like the Silent Hills where Konami's still around. They can provide licensing and probably would do so based off of their current trajectory of Silent Hill to kind of keep their series relevant, as well as the fact that by being able to offer it on a digital storefront, they're going to put themselves in a position where they can make more revenue. And I'm aware that there's still going to be licenses, certain game developers, franchise owners, everybody that are not going to allow some of these things to happen or logistically they just can't happen. My bigger overarching problem, however, is that it just feels like Microsoft has shut down the possibility of this occurring or happening at all moving forward into the future generation, which is a big shame because if you look at the way Microsoft is currently pivoting, they're trying to push towards what appears to be a digital-only future, which really sucks because if you're somebody who wants to consolidate your consoles or have less of them, you're going to have less opportunity to play some of the games previously that you might want to re-explore. And we've seen that Nintendo's now slowly making a push, for example, with the Switch and the Switch Arcade or their, sorry, classic consoles that you can download to the, to the Switch itself by playing N64, Super Nintendo, I believe there's even Game Boy Advance now on there. But now Nintendo is seeing the value in this and trying to bring that forward as they continue and this seems to be a program that they're continuously working on and right now it does seem a little bit like they're in the infancy but I'm certain that that's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as these console generations progress. So really ultimately the way I'm looking at it is 
I can't see a net negative of Microsoft not pursuing this more deeply and providing gamers with more options when it comes to playing retro or classic titles at this point because there's still a solid back catalog of original Xbox games that simply just won't play on the newest generation of Xbox as well as a large amount of 360 titles where that's still the case. So at this junction, the fact that Microsoft has fully given up really does suck and I do hope that moving into this digital only future or however Microsoft wants to spin it, that there's going to be more consideration for backwards compatibility of the previous generations of their platforms so we don't lose out on those entirely when it comes to being able to play these on modern consoles.